Hello there ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to make you guys aware of the horrible experience I'm having here at the Blue Bay Villas Doradas in uh, Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic. Uh, January 2016, we made a reservation through Orbitz for April. Now I thought that was, they honored their commitments, but apparently not because we get here April the first weekend of April 2016 and apparently the receptionist at the hotel tells me they're all booked up so I'm wondering how can that be because I booked three months prior to this visit and Orbis even gave me a confirmation number now she's telling me that there's no there's no suites or any availability here tonight so she's gonna be nice enough imagine that she's gonna be nice enough to have the hotel bus me to another hotel, one of their sister hotels called V Heaven, and give me a night there for the same price. So they did, in fact, make us wait a little while longer at, at the desk of uh, Blue Bay and took us to V Heaven, which should have been called V Hell because as soon as we got there, uh, they gave us a room and we got to the room like around 4 o'clock p.m. The room's AC was broken. Uh, I then proceed to report it to the front desk. And the front desk tells me they're going to look into it to, to check back with them later to see how it was going. So we go eat, go to the beach and come back like around 9. Uh, 9 o'clock. I get to the room, I see that the AC hasn't been fixed, it's just as hot as it was before. Remember, this is a tropical island, so it gets pretty hot there. And then I go back to the front desk and there's another young lady in there, she says that nobody's reported. So, by this point I start getting frustrated because I see that it's a custom that nobody here wants to take accountability or responsibility for any problem. And she tells me that somebody's gonna go check it in, in five or ten minutes I proceed back to the room to wait for the technician to to check the AC uh, 20 minutes go by 30 minutes go by I see that nobody comes I call the front desk and she says that they're on their way uh, at 10 o'clock nobody came yet so I go to the front desk and uh, by this point I'm not gonna have any more of anybody's BS because I'm a paying customer and I shouldn't be treated like a second class citizen. So uh, I demand to have another room and I tell her I'm not gonna leave the front desk until she gives me another room and I'm gonna make a big show there. So she gives me another room, which by the way, I, for, I have to take all my luggage myself by hand. I have to carry it all like if I was a camel. So when I get to this other room, uh, it has, the, the ceiling has a, a crack right above the toilet. So every time I go to the toilet, I get drips of dirty water falling on my shoulder. Uh, the next morning, I go down and they tell me that my room at the other hotel is ready. Uh, as soon as I get back to the other hotel, I see a, a line of people that experience the same problem that I experienced the day before. Apparently, this Blue Bay Villas Doradas, their MO is uh, just t selling as many rooms as they can, no matter whether they, whether they have availability or not, and have you there uh, cornered and helpless and do, do it, you whatever they can later on. They just want to have you there. So. God knows what kind of business they have going on behind the scenes with other hotels and whatnot. But when we do get back to the actual B is, uh, Blue Bay Villas Doradas, uh, the hotel itself is a kind of outdated. I mean, it's not worth paying. I think I paid nine hundred dollars and change for five days. Uh, the food is very bland. I mean, nothing out of this world. The rooms they stuck us right next to the to the stage. So every night until midnight, we have to hear the performers or the comedy or whatever going on until midnight. If you want to rest, you can. Uh, if you do go outside Blue Bay Villa Serratus into the city, which is called Puerto Plata, you're going to see misery and poverty at its finest. Uh, there's, there's no laws on the road. 
you're gonna see that people zoom by you at 80 70 miles per hour on either side right side left side you're gonna see per every car like 10 or 12 mopeds at a given intersection when you have two lanes you're gonna see like five people line up in the two lanes it's, it's crazy you're gonna see kids coming up to you and asking you for uh, money or whatever have you for your clothes you're gonna see buildings falling apart you're gonna see dirt you're gonna see uh, it's just save yourself the hassle and uh, I've heard of my friends they go to Punta Cana to the five star hotels over there and I guess as long as you don't leave those hotels and you don't go outside to the actual country and see what's going on it's okay so I thank you for listening to my review and I'll get back to you guys later take care